Hello and welcome to Only Connect, a quiz so tricky that you can be very proud of yourself if you get as much as zero points. It's all about connections, lateral connections and hidden links. So if your idea of thinking around a subject is to avoid it completely, please don't apply for the next series. You just wouldn't enjoy it. This is a quarter-final, so I'm joined by two successful teams from the Heats. On my right, it's the Exeter alumni. Ian Pithouse, a Real Ale fan and film buff who practices meditation. Ben Howarth, a senior parliamentary analyst who also writes music reviews for an online magazine. And their captain, Sam Charman, an English graduate who supports Exeter City and enjoys oriental cookery. Exeter graduates and former flatmates, they are the Exeter alumni. What do you think was the secret of success for you in the heat? I think our conferring was pretty good last time around and our random guesses seemed to come off, thankfully. And combined with our essential knowledge of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which gave us an early lead, which we were able to keep hold of. Well, we'll find out what sees you through tonight. Good luck. Your opponents are the Archer's admirers. Paul Peters, a mathematician who is also an accomplished Gamelan player. Andrew Bull, a Cambridge graduate who likes chess and Snoopy. And their captain, Min Lacey, a former officer in the RAF Reserve who is also a huge rugby fan. They're all civil servants united by their admiration of the archers. Of course, even when one wins a heat, there's still things that return to haunt you in the night. Well, what's been troubling you? The fact that we froze in front of the grid like cornered baboons for the best part of a minute wasn't terribly brilliant. And yet you still solved it? In the end. Right. Well, good luck tonight. In round one, the team simply have to tell me what connects four clues. But the fewer clues they see before telling me the connection, the more points they get. Simple as that. Exeter alumni, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please look at the board and pick a letter. Uh, gamma, please. OK, your first clue is coming up. Time starts now. Prayer equals W. Okay. Uh, no? Anything? Um, no? no. Uh, next clue, please. Thailand equals B. Oh, that, um, which is the of the currency or just the latter for the currency? I don't know what South Korea yeah, is. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, third one, please. That's Kingdom L. L. London. Uh, Bangkok is the capital. What's the yeah. capital of South Korea? Uh, Seoul. Seoul. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, okay, the fourth one, please. Japan equals what? Ten seconds. Oh, wait, oh, that's chicken. But that is yen, isn't it? Yeah. Yen. But L, L's Libra in French. It's not the name of the currency. Three seconds. It's the name of the currency in French. Try that. <laughs> I'm uh, not too sure, but the names of their currencies in French. Or the initial letter of the name of the currency in, in French. French. Yeah. That really doesn't hold up to scrutiny. No. <laughs> I think the Thai currency really. in French <laughs> would not begin with B. I'm terribly sorry. I'm going to have to throw it over to the other team for a possible bonus. Symbol for the currency. That's what it is. It is the letter that forms the basis for the symbol. Why L for the United Kingdom? For li Libra. 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 Libra, it's the Latin for pound. Yep. All those letters form the basis of the symbol for currency. Nearly, but not quite. So that's a bonus point to you, Archer's admirers, and you can pick your own letter. Uh, delta, please. OK, this is going to be a picture question. Your first clue coming up now. Like some sort of celebration? Don't know. No. Newton. Next, please. Uh, Alistair Alice Darling's Alice tie. Alice Darling's tie. Yeah. Schools? Yeah, next, please. Ascot. Ascot. An Ascot hat. Windsor tie. Windsor tie, yeah. Next. Next, please. 31. Tie. So does that got to, anybody know anything about the name? 10 seconds. 31. Nothing Odds. Card games. Card, card games. games. OK, yes. Mm. Three go. seconds. Card games, though we don't particularly like it. Talk me through the clues. Uh, there might be a card game called Ascot or Windsor, which might be the knot on Alistair Darling's tie, <laughs> or it might be the Queen Mother's hat. And apparently there's a card game called 31, though I've never heard of it. No, well, it's a very good try. Completely wrong, but a very good try. I'm going to throw it over for a possible bonus to the extra alumni. Um, are they all only used once and then disposed of? Like oh, a roulette wheel. Well, that would make life expensive, wouldn't it, for the, the casinos? Ball, maybe. The ball. Know. You no, know, yeah. that really... And what, the Queen, Her Majesty the, the Queen... Queen's hats. We used her once. Once, once this rain is yeah. over, we're not having her again. Nope, you're wrong as well. OK. These are all situations 
in which you can bet on a colour. You can bet on the colour of the Chancellor's tie on Budget Day, on the colour of the Queen's hat at Ascot, yes. bet on the colour of the winning roulette number, of course. Mm -hmm. And in that first picture, it's an American custom in sports that uh, the team will throw drink at the winning coach yeah. and you can bet what colour or flavour that drink is going to be. No points there then. Extra alumni, pick a letter. Uh, we'll have, uh, alpha, please. First clue coming up. Time starts now. Barbarella's enemy. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> next one, next one, please. Bobby, Bobby Kennedy's assassin. Was that, um, was it Sue, was it Sue Hansen? Yeah. Same name? Could be the same name repeated twice. Try yeah, next. it could be that. Should we take the third one just to make sure? Okay. Uh, third yeah, one, please. Like yeah, it oh, is. Neville, Neville. Neville, yeah. yeah. Uh, same first name and surname. That's exactly yeah. it. And you get two points for getting it after yeah. three Durant, clues. Yeah. Last Durant. one would have been Lilita's Pursuer. Can you tell me the actual names? Uh, Duran Duran, Suhan Suhan and Neville Neville. Yes, Suhan Suhan, yes. Suhan, yes. And uh, Lilita's Pursuer? Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's... Um, Humbert, Humbert, of Humbert, course. Humbert, yeah. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> well done, though. Two points to you. Archer's admirers pick a letter. Uh, Zeta, please. OK. This is going to be a sound Sorry. or music question. And the first one is going to start now. Jaws? No, it's... Hmm? Next, Seven. please. Seven. Oh, it's, um... Seven Dwarfs. Seven Dwarfs. Seven. Yep, shall we? Yeah. Seven. Why? Because excerpt one was Beethoven the Seventh, and excerpt two was from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Brilliant. You're going to get three points for getting it after just two clues. You would have heard Seven Things by Miley Cyrus. I don't know if that would have helped. helped. <laughs> Wouldn't have helped me. <laughs> Not. The last one would have been Elmer Bernstein's theme from The Magnificent Seven. Double three double. points to you. Well Alumni, pick a letter. Beta, please. First clue coming up. Time starts now. Castor and Pollock. Any ideas on that? No. Um, no, next well, one, next one, please. Rama, that's that's a, is that a god? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's um, one of the Hindu gods. Hindu god. Um, Catherine Pollux. Well, yes. Catherine Pollux. No, that's wrong. It's a was brought up by wolves. Yeah. Uh, next one, please. It could be something like that. Yoshi. 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 Yeah. What is that? Thing uh, in Mario Kart. <laughs> 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 Got to be something. Is it deities? Maybe it can't be. Anything. We'll take the fourth one, please. Yeah. Oh, oh, green. Ten green. Could be Yoshi the Dragon in America is green. Is Casper mm -hmm. Potter green? Yeah, I'm going to go for green. Yeah. Connection is they are all green. Castor and Pollock's are green, <laughs> though, never mind. They're what they are. Green, armour, <laughs> green. Yeah. Not green. green. I'm afraid I'm going to have to throw it over for a possible bonus to the Archer's admirers. Um, something to do with not being able to fly. I don't believe I said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. It is not to do with not being able to fly. They are all said to have been born from an egg. Orville the duck, of course. Yoshi the dinosaur in the computer game, born from an egg. Brahma, according to legend. Why do you think Castor and Pollux might have been born from an egg? Zeus in the form of a swan. Yeah. Their mother leader was raped by Zeus in the form of a swan, and apparently they were born from... I say apparently, like they ever existed. <laughs> that is what the legend says. Eggs was the link there. Archers admirers, just one question left. It'll be Epsilon for you. And the first clue is coming up now. Uh, anything. Next, please. Uh, is that the story of Odysseus' wife? Sounds like it, but yeah. don't know um, anything. Next, please. Why did Sagasso say? That's a prequel. Oh, prequel. So March could be perhaps for little women. Should we have one more? Yeah, I'd have one more. One more, please. Wicked. Yes, that's, that's, from that's from Wizard of Oz. They're all books written about another book. Yes. Yeah? They're all books written about another book. I'm afraid for this quarterfinal, that is not specific enough. I'm going to give you one more chance. Uh, prequels? No, I'm afraid that's wrong. So I'm going to throw it over for a possible that's bonus to the alumni. Yeah, they're books that take characters from other novels and develop their story further. That is what it is. They are written from the point of view of other characters yeah. in the books. Can you tell me what they are? Uh, what I guess I see is Jane. Is it Jane Eyre? Yeah. It's Jane Eyre. It's uh, the... It's the story of the birth of Jane Eyre. Yeah. Wicked is the Wicked Witch of the West in Wizard of Oz. That's right. Penelope Penelope Odyssey. Odyssey. Oh, from the Od Penelope from the Odyssey. Yeah. And March? I'm not sure about March. Not sure what March, no. March no. is the story of the missing Mr. March oh. in Little Women, written by Geraldine mm. Brooks, that, uh, that version. 
that's a bonus point to you, Exeter. And the scores at the end of round one see the Exeter alumni with three points and the Archers admirers have four points. <music> round two is all about sequences. There are still four clues, but I will be asking the teams what's fourth. You can see one, two or three clues before giving me the answer. Of course, the fewer clues you see, the more points you get. Exeter alumni, you'll be going first again. Please pick a letter. Uh, Delta, please. Delta it is. The first clue of a sequence will come up. I want you to tell me what is fourth. The time starts now. Motherfield. What's that from? Is that Coronation Street? Um, uh, yeah, it can be all right. Uh, uh, next one. Yeah, next one, please. Libel. That's uh, a libel case against McDonald's, you think? Yeah. <laughs> uh, next one, please. NatWest. Motherfield. Libel NatWest. What's the symbol of NatWest? NatWest, so it's, it's not a whole It's not a sequence. Noise, it's it's got to be a sequence. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. Ten seconds. With a feel. Um, got any ideas? Tom Three seconds. No. No, no. no. nothing. No. 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 Okay. no. Time has nothing. run out, so Archer's admirers, any bonus attempt for you? Guildford. Why? The Weatherfield 1, the McLibel 2, the NatWest 3, and the Guildford Four, people who were... Uh, court cases. Court cases, famous court cases. Absolutely correct. Any court case involving four people famously would have been the fourth clue, and Guildford is what we went for, so very well done. Who was the Weatherfield one? Uh, Deirdre Rashid. The Weatherfield one, Deirdre from Coronation Street. Now, Archer's admirers, you may pick your own letter. Uh, beta, please. OK, first clue coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Memorial Day. Uh, May, I think. Oh, yeah, next, please. Independence Day, that's July. So which is the next American holiday? September. What about President's Day? I think, I think President's Day is... Oh, so I think we want another clue. We want yeah. another clue, please. Labour so President's, Christmas. President's Day or Thanksgiving? Oh. What? No. Um, Ten seconds. Because yeah. veterans. For veterans or Thanksgiving, which do you think? Veterans is earlier. Yeah, veterans. Yeah. Three seconds. Come on, please. Pause. Um, veterans. I'm afraid not. Yes. Possible bonus view here, Exeter? Uh, we'll go for Thanksgiving. Nope, no. you're wrong. You are right that it's American public holidays, but the next one after Labour Day is, in fact, Columbus Day. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Yes, there it is. Alumni, pick your own letter. Uh, Zeta, please. Zeta? First clue coming up. Time starts now. Central equals one. Could be anything. Uh, next one, please. Central equals two. I mean, tube lines, possibly. Um, yeah. When they were first, the first yeah, built. When they first built them. Uh, uh, do you know what the fourth one was? No. Should we take the third one then? Okay, you'll take the third one, please. Yeah. District. District. So what was after that? So it's going to be Northern Metropolitan, maybe. It's quite old. Yeah. Hammersmith and City. Um, Fourth one out. It's not. It is that order the in which they were Lines built. Part. I think. Ten think seconds. Is the order in which they were built? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, okay. What do you want to go for? Which one? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Three can. seconds. Uh, Metropolitan equals four. Sorry. No. Not the right answer. Archers admirers, do you want to have no, a go? No, no, no. We got that already. You can't debate it. Have a go. Um, Bakerloo. Why do you think it will be Bakerloo equals four? Uh, because we know it's got some sort of connection to the tube, um, <laughs> and that was the line I could think of. Very unusually in this quiz, your random stab is correct, and I shall give you the bonus point, but you didn't get the reason. Oh, no. This clue is beautiful and terrible, like love. This is what would happen if you converted the colours of tube lines into snooker balls <laughs> and then scored them. Of the Bakerloo would be worth four. But you get the bonus point anyway, Archer's admirers. And uh, you may also pick your own letter. Gamma, please. Your first clue is coming up. What is fourth? Time starts now. Cervical cancer. Vertebrae. Vertebrae? Another clue, please. I don't know. What's uh, do you know the fourth one? No, I don't. Should we have a third have one, clue, or should yeah. we just keep no. guessing? No. Okay. Third one, please. Lumber. So sac Could be sacral. Sacral. I don't know. So. Uh, 
Cervical thoracic lumbar. What else could it be? It couldn't be anything else, could it? Yeah, certainly right. Ten seconds. Yeah, go for sacral. Sacral. That is it, or sacral, indeed. They are sections of the vertebral column going downwards. Sacral would be next. Alumni, pick a letter. Uh, alpha, please. First clue coming up. These are going to be picture clues, okay. so I want to know what sort of thing you'd see in the fourth picture. Time starts now. Okay, that's a state. Is it Vegas? It might be Vegas. Um, I mean, it's in Nevada. Um, uh, next one, please. What's that? Is that a type of hand in the game? It's just both. Yeah, just for cards in general. Yeah. Okay, third one, please. Comedy. Four knocks. Gold. What other card? Um, That's nothing to do with eight. Bond, eight. is it? Not Bond films or anything, is it? Oh, what? Um, I think they're trying to steal. Old finger. What? Yeah. Casino Royale. Casino Royale or something to do with. Ten seconds. What could we guess for fourth? What would the, what would the second one be? Um, 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 bullion. Three seconds. Uh, no, got nothing. Nope. No, Time is two up. Two thoughts. So. Archer's admirers, do you want to have a go? Try it. Sword. For what reason? Uh, the beaches at D-Day. Um, you've got Utah, Omaha. Uh, Omaha. And gold. Gold. <laughs> and we don't know what's next. And we don't know what's next, so we've gone for sword. In an interesting reversal of a previous question, <laughs> this time you have the right reasoning and the wrong answer. But in this one, I'm not asking what the connections are, I'm asking what's fourth. They are the D-Day landing beaches in order from west to east. Next would be Juno. You're looking at Utah, not just any old card game, four cards and a flop, that can only be Omaha, Gold and Juno would be next. So, Archers, there is one question remaining, that's going to be Epsilon. The first clue is coming up now. Andrew. Is it mobile code? Three, six, eight, seven. Yep. F on three. So that's going to be seven, so that's going to be... Uh, next, please. So what's one? Uh, A, B, C. Yeah, but what is it? Oh, sorry. Um, six, 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 three, six, three. Yeah. One equals. One equals six, six, three. Why? You're spelling out the words with their mobile numbers. That's exactly it in predictive text. Two would be 896, one would be 663. Well done, you get the points and the scores at the end of round two. The Exeter alumni have got three points, but the Archers admirers are in the lead with 11 points. <laughs> round three is the connecting wall. There are four groups of four connected clues scrambled to make 16 clues and I want the teams to separate them back into four groups of four. Archers admirers, it'll be your turn to go first this time. You've got the choice of the alpha or beta wall. Uh, beta, please. OK, I'd like this sorted into four groups. You've got two and a half minutes to do it, starting now. Uh, little mob. Riot, Rodney King Riot, Brixton Seven Riot, sisters, Riot. Vauxhall and Brixton. Can you see another Riot? Line. Well, we've got Rodney King. Rodney Seven King, Paul Tax, Brixton. Go on. Go on then. Pivot City. What's the other one? City. Brixton. City. Brixton. Well, it's wrong. No. Right. Oh, what about okay. Riot? Brixton, Paul Tax, Rodney King. Can we see another one? Titfield. Gordon. Titfield. Gordon. Well done. Titfield and Pimlico are what's the films, aren't they? There's yes. Well done. Uh, Titfield, oh yeah, Thunderbolt, Pin, Passport to Pimlico, and Lavender Hill Mob, Lavender Hill Mob, and uh, ooh, uh, and uh, what, are, what are the Heidi's? They're um, and, and trapez trapezium's a constellation as well. If, and Seven Sisters is in the sky. Yeah. So what so else? What's the, what's the other one? Uh, Unless we end for the end, City beehive? end. Yeah, B. Vox, Vauxhall. Vauxhall. Yeah. Is that one? Yes. Yep. Definitely. Now it's three so, strikes and you're out. Yeah, okay. Hyades, Beehive, Trapezium, Seven Sisters. I'm not sure about Beehive. Well, it's right. worth a try. I can't see anything else looking like her. Oh. It was <laughs> worth a try. Well done. You've solved the wall very quickly. No freezing like cornered gibbons this time. No. No. You've well, obviously lucky. got the hang of it. So you've got the four points for finding the groups. Let's see how you do with the connections. Brixton, Poltax, Rodney King, Gordon. Riots. That's right. And you've got the Gordon late. Can you tell me anything about those riots? Uh, they, they're the ones that Flashman's father was scared yes. about. Um, something to do with Scotland, I something can't. to do with the 
the the proletariat uprising, I think. It was an anti-Catholic uprising oh. in 1780, oh. but you get the point. So Vauxhall nice. Pavilion City Nursery. I'll let my sports <laughs> correspondents answer that. That ends in cricket stadia, in cricket grounds in the UK. In test cricket grounds, yeah. ends of grounds, exactly. Seven Sisters Beehive Hyades Trapezium. We think they're Coll constellations. Collections of stars. Collections of stars rather than Star constellations. clusters, exactly so. And the last group, Lavender Hill, Antarctic, Titfield, Pimlico. Titles, titles of, of Ealing... Ealing comedies. Ealing comedies or Ealing Part films? Part of titles. Part of, of titles of Ealing, Ealing films. They are films made by Ealing Studios. Yes, Scott of the Antarctic... I by John Mills. Not, not a lot of laughs. Not the funniest. No, I was no. disappointed. No, no. I was expecting to see John Mills coming on and off for Scott's wife, you know, with different wigs. <laughs> yep, Nothing yep. like that at all. But it is still a film from Ealing Studios, so you'll get the point. That gives you four points for the groups you found, four points for the connections, and the bonus two points for getting them all right. It is a maximum of ten points. Let's see what the extra alumni can do with their connecting wall. They'll get 16 fresh clues that still need to be sorted into four connected groups of four. The beta wall's been taken, so it's alpha for you. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it. Beware the red herrings. <laughs> Your time starts now. Banshee, Agnew, uh, Jonathan Agnew, uh, Brian yeah, Johnston. Yeah, we've got cricket commentators. We've got, hang on, so we've got, got Ag Agnew, Blowfield. Johnston, Boycott Blowfield. Yeah, but so I think it might be Vic Mark. Oh, no, that's what, that's what. There we are. Um, uh, Banshee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got Banshee. Last, last Legs. Last Legs, is that a horse, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, it could be. Um, Tory. Uppers. Uppers could be someone to do Last Legs, maybe? Uh, in what way? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> parts yeah. of a race, you know. Like oh, OK. Or maybe yeah. the boat race. Um, the marks. Oh, it could be parts of the boat. No, um, I don't know what it is. Angled, uh, angled, angled late eighth marks galore. Needs yeah, whiskey galore. Needs uh, Tory. Uh, should we try something? Yeah. Uh, we're going to go for last legs. Last legs. Uppers. Um, <laughs> marks. What's the thinking? And of this? this is parts of race eighth. There we go. No, no, no. <laughs> um, let's try something else. Uh, um, last legs. Um, last legs. On your last legs, on your marks, on your last yeah. legs, on your knees. On your bike. On your bike. Yeah, yeah. Now you've used a minute and it's three strikes and you're out with two groups left. Okay. What, Brock, what's more likely to go together? Tory. Angle, uh, I'm thinking angle lating is some kind of word thing. In what? Like a word play. Yeah, because um, lating is just a weird word, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Elating, eighting. Can you measure, you can measure things in eights, do you? Uh, yeah, eights is measurement. Yeah, but there's nothing else there. Banshee, wailing banshee. Obviously. Wait, yeah. Um, We've got double E in Banshee, that's quite weird. Yeah. Anything else there? Um, um, uppers. I mean, You've got a minute left. A minute left. Oh, okay, so we don't want to try too much here. No. Um, Tory, Brock. Tory. Eighth and uppers, I don't know. Um, Let's try one, come on. Um, what, what was your thinking on angled and Angled and lating. Yeah. Weird words. I don't know, Banshee, uh, eighth. No, 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 two more guesses. Um, G, G, H and... No, no, they got the same. Is that their, their um, anagrams on? No, they're not. Elating no. and angled. No. no. You've got thirty <laughs> seconds. Right, come on, let's have a couple of guesses. Um, uppers and good. A couple of guesses is all you can have <laughs> before the wall freezes. Absolutely. Um, that's a random guess. <laughs> one more <laughs> life. Two. One more guess. Come on, guys. Right. One more got guess. One more okay. Angle. Oh, what do you have? I can't even think of anything. Um, Tory uppers. Um, eights. Oh, uh, no, that's, that's not it, that's it. and the wall it. has frozen. Ah, okay. <laughs> but you've got two points for the groups you identified, and there'll be more if you tell me the connections. Agnew, Blofeld, Boycott, Johnston. Uh, they're all commentators. Yes. Yeah, they're commentators from Test Match, match Special. special. Yeah. Knees, bike, last legs, marks. Uh, phrases like on your knees, on your bike, with on your before. On your, yeah. that's exactly it. So that's two points. Now let's see if you can get the connections for the groups you didn't find, and you were unlucky these two were left. Banshee, Tory, Brock, Galore. Got nothing. Um, if you don't see it, you don't no, know it. They are it. all words originating from Irish. Oh. They come from the yeah. Irish language. Sorry, yeah. Last group. Angled, uppers, elating, eighth. No, I can't see anything. No. I can't give you too long no. to think about it. No. The reason you were unlucky is because yeah. the two groups you were left with were both word-related. Right. Yeah. That first one, Irish words, here, this is fiendish. <laughs>
In all of these words, if you take the last letter off and move it to the beginning, you get a new word. Oh, Angled supper. becomes dangle, uppers becomes supper. Elating, as you say, it yeah. is a bit strange, isn't yeah. it? Becomes gelatin, and eighth becomes height. Yeah. I think you could see that there was something odd about the yeah. word elating. Yeah. Just mm, couldn't close the deal. Just couldn't nail it down. Nevertheless, you got two points for the yeah. groups you found and two points for those connections, so that's a total of four points. Let's see how that leaves the scores. The extra alumni have got seven points, but the Archers admirers are in the lead with 21 points. And this week, a very exciting thing is happening. In response to clamorous demands, we're putting connection walls on the internet so you can play along against the clock and see if you're as good as you thought you would be. Go to the BBC website and look for Only Connect. Round four is the missing vowels round. This is where we take well-known names or phrases, take out the vowels and then group the consonants together the teams have to tell me what those names or phrases are. Now, of course, if you buzz in with an incorrect answer, I will deduct a point and throw it to the other team for a possible bonus. Fingers on buzzers, then. The first group are all shrubs. Admirers? Jojoba. One point. Don't know this one? Mock orange. Next clue. Admirers? Oleander. One point. Admirers? Azalea. One point. Next category, famous photographers. Ad alumni? Rankin. One point. Admirers? Annie Leibovitz. One point to you. This one is Diane Arbus. Next clue. Admirers? Robert Maplethorpe. One point. Next category, parts of a sailing ship. Admirers? Foxel. One point. Admirers? Hoop deck. One point. Admirers? Larboard. I'm afraid you lose a point. There's a possible bonus for the alumni. No, too long. It's Liebard. Next clue. Admirers. Anchor. One point. Next category, mnemonics. Admirers. 30 days, half September. One point. Admirers. I before E except after C. One point. Admirers. Every good boy deserves favour. One point. Alumni. Richard of York, Baton Bay. One point. Next category, instrumental tracks that were UK number ones. Admirers. Eye level. One point. Don't know this one. Admirers. Side saddle. Yes, one point. <laughs> that is the end of the quiz. The Exeter alumni finish with nine points but the Archer's admirers have got 33 points. So I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you, Exeter alumni. But Archer's admirers, we will see you after that astonishing performance in the semi-final. I hope you're going to kick off and party like true quizzes with a double sherry and maybe a fiendish Sudoku. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of us are off to soak our brains in a warm mustard bath. Goodbye. Putting preposterous propositions to the test here on BBC4 on Wednesday at half past seven with It's Only a Theory. And coming up next tonight, we're off to meet the forgotten children of Zimbabwe. <laughs>